Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. Today we're talking ENFP lookalikes. Okay, so there are a set of you know, personal types that you'll find you look a lot alike. That means you can mistype with these types, you can relate to these types, and you can connect with these types very easily based on similar interests, values, attitudes, and a lot more. Now, what you want to look at first is, okay, of course, as an ENFP, you have more in common with ENFPs than any other personal type, but still you'll notice there's a spectrum. That means there are some things about other ENFPs that you won't relate to and won't connect to. And that's all right, and that's okay. So just understand that not all ENFPs are the same, not all ENFPs look alike. So these are more generalizations. Now, number two, the first spot, uh, the most likely lookalike for the ENFP is the INFJ personal type. That means INFJs have more in common with ENFPs than any other personal type. That means when you talk to an ENFP or an INFJ, you'll notice they share very similar interests and very similar values with one another. These two types, when grouped together, can look similar in the sense that both are very intuitive, very creative, very much focused on the emotional needs, cooperation, benevolence, getting along with other personal types. Now, the main difference is ENFPs are a lot more adaptable and ENFPs are a lot more focused on themselves and their own truth and their own honesty. INFJs are a little bit more cooperative, get along with everyone, mediate, work together with, to find a solution. INFJs are more feeling and ENFPs are a bit more logical than INFJs. Yes, that's true. ENFPs are more logical than INFJs. Now, number three, this third place goes to the ENTP personal type. So, ENFPs and ENTPs, they share very similar values and attitudes when it comes to intuition, but can be different in the sense that the ENTP is more logical and values the emotional connection less than the ENFP. Beyond that, the ENTP is slightly less adaptable and slightly less focused on themselves and their own decisions and their own needs. ENTPs are a bit more go along with the group and whatever goes. Finally, ENFPs, they are a little bit more introverted and ENTPs a little bit more extroverted. INTJs. INTJs and ENFPs can look very similar when you look purely at intuition. What you'll notice is INTJs and ENFPs have a very similar use of and way of engaging in intuition. That means they can have very similar conversations and very similar thoughts and very similar patterns in how they apply their intuition and their creativity. These two types on a level of purely interests and hobbies are very similar. The one thing being the INTJ is a lot more controlling, wanting people and everyone along them to go with them in their flow and their opinions. The ENFP is a lot more adaptable. Everyone can do their own thing. Everyone should be free to be and work with and be true to themselves. INFPs. So INFPs and ENFPs, they have a lot in common, but not as much as people tend to believe. INFPs being a lot, a lot more introverted and a lot less intuitive. Beyond that, INFPs are a lot more feeling. So while they look the same based on letters, they are very different in how much and what and when and to what extent. That means while in the beginning they can connect, while the INFP will find themselves drifting off more into their own experiences and sharing more about their feelings and their, their unique identity, and the ENFP being a little bit more creative and focused on opportunities and what's next and where we should go and what adventures we could go on. And that's a bit of a disconnect, differently valued intuition and feeling. Then we can look at the ENFJ personnel type, and the ENFJ is also quite similar, but just different in the sense that the ENFJ is more focused on control and more on getting everyone along and getting everyone on board, and the ENFP being a bit more free-spirited. Lastly, the ESFP. The ESFP is, of course, a lot more sensory. On the scale of sensing and intuition, these two types have nothing in common, no similar interests, no similar hobbies, want completely different things. But emotionally and attitude-wise, both are quite sanguine types and both are quite open-minded types and both are quite adaptable types. It's just when it comes to their main thing, they are completely different. So these are the ENFP lookalikes. What types do you relate to and connect with the most as an ENFP? And how do you experience your relationship to INFJs, ENTPs, INTJs, INFPs, ENFJs, ESFPs? 
let me know in comments down below. Thank you for watching and see you all in the next video.